You might have heard of Avatar, The Last Airbender, a popular animated series that follows the adventures of Aang, a young boy who can manipulate all four elements, air, water, earth, and fire. But is this really possible? Can anyone bend for elements like Aang? Well, the short answer is no, but the long answer is more complicated. Let me explain. According to the show, the ability to bend an element is determined by a combination of genetics, spirituality, and training. Only certain people are born with the potential to bend an element, and they usually belong to one of the four nations that correspond to the elements. For example, the air nomads are all airbenders, the water tribes are mostly waterbenders, the earth kingdom has many earthbenders, and the fire nation is dominated by firebenders. However, not everyone in these nations can bend, and some people can bend more than one element. The only person who can bend all four elements is the Avatar, the reincarnated spirit of the world's protector. The Avatar is born into one of the four nations, and learns to bend the other three elements throughout their lifetime. The Avatar also has a special connection to the spirit world, and can enter a state of enhanced power called the Avatar State. The Avatar's role is to maintain balance and harmony among the four nations and the spirits. So, why can't anyone else bend for elements like the Avatar? Well, there are several reasons. First of all, bending is not just a physical skill, but also a mental and spiritual one. Each element has its own philosophy, culture, and style of bending, and mastering them requires a deep understanding and respect for each element. For example, airbending is based on freedom, detachment, and circular movements, while earthbending is based on stability, stubbornness, and linear movements. Learning to bend another element would require a radical shift in one's worldview and personality, which is not easy to do. Secondly, bending is also influenced by the energy flow in one's body, which is called Kai. Kai flows through pathways called chakras, which are located at different points in the body. Each chakra corresponds to a different aspect of one's being, such as survival, emotions, willpower, love, truth, insight, and cosmic. To bend an element, one must open the chakra that relates to that element and keep it balanced and clear. For example, to bend air, one must open the crown chakra, which is located at the top of the head and connect to the cosmic energy. To bend earth, one must open the root chakra, which is located at the base of the spine and connect to the physical world. Opening and balancing multiple chakras would be very difficult and risky, as it could cause serious physical and mental problems. Thirdly, bending is also limited by the availability and accessibility of the elements. Bending requires a source of the element to manipulate, and some elements are more abundant and easier to find than others. For example, air is everywhere, water is common, earth is solid, but fire is rare and ephemeral. Bending also depends on the environmental conditions, such as the weather, the seasons, the time of day, and the lunar and solar cycles. For example, water bending is stronger during the full moon, fire bending is stronger during the day, and earth bending is weaker when the ground is frozen. Bending another element would require adapting to these factors and finding a suitable source of the element. So, as you can see, bending for elements like the avatar is not something that anyone can do. It requires a special destiny, a lot of training, a flexible mind, a balanced body, and a favorable environment. However, that doesn't mean that bending is impossible or boring. Bending is still a fascinating and powerful skill that can be used for many purposes, such as fighting, healing, creating, exploring, and having fun. Bending is also constantly evolving and expanding, as benders discover new ways to use their elements, such as metal bending, blood bending, lightning bending, and lava bending. Bending is a reflection of one's identity, personality, and culture, and it can be a source of pride, joy, and connection. Bending is not just a magic trick, but a way of life.